Hi pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today I'm bringing you something a little different. It's a Yacht Panther gameplay video. Oh my god, what's going on? Why has Antonov got a Yacht Panther? Yes, I haven't got a Yacht Panther. If you look over here in the team ranks, it's not my Yacht Panther, it's the Yacht Panther MV2000. It's one of my best friends. And he had this pretty nice game yesterday or day before yesterday and uh, he gave it to me to make a gameplay of it so here it is and i figure it's going to be kind of nice for you guys because you haven't seen any yak panther videos of me and the yak panther is a pretty popular tank so he shoots at the tiger too and uh, he will probably agree as much as i do that uh, that wasn't his best shot there he should have aimed longer and try to go try to go for the lower glacius on the tiger 2 so he obviously ricocheted off the upper glacius that's 150 millimeters of armor i believe sloped very very well so yeah the yak panther is a pretty much a beast of a tank uh, it's pretty accurate it's got an amazing gun the gun deals out a lot of damage it's got very very high penetration and i like it a lot um, I like a lot what I've seen of it till now and I'm looking forward to getting myself one at the moment I've got the Yak Panzer 4 so I'm getting there and oh there's an IS-3 to his right side and a T-21 and he's getting shot at that means he's spotted he hasn't got six cents in this tank yet obviously so he doesn't aim very long and all the same hits the T-21 pretty lucky there and he gets his first kill although after patch 8.6 uh, a lot of these kind of RNG shots tend to hit because all guns got a lot more accurate like all shots tend to gravitate a lot more to the center of your aiming circle now so is3 he hasn't got quite enough gun depression to hit him from here so he has to drive on and there you can see the yak panther has got no problems whatsoever penning the front of an is3 which can be pretty troll for lower to attacks and he pens it again and can he finish him off? He's on 163 HP. So he aims and yes he can. Second kill there. So that's pretty nice. And that really demonstrates how amazing this gun actually is. And well after the gun of the Jagd Panzer IV which has got only 130mm penetration. I guess the German tank destroyer drivers have deserved something nice. <laughs> So that was a very, very lucky shot there without aiming a lot. He managed to trap the Tiger 2 and then he finished him off. He kind of ninjaed the kill there. Uh, I can't, I don't know who set the Tiger 2 on fire, but I guess he would have killed the Tiger 2 if MV2000 hadn't finished him off. But you know, we all do it, so it's hard to complain. <laughs> and yes, he gets another nice shot into the SU100. However, he can't finish him off because the Type 59 gets him. So, his team's leading 10 to 7, so they're probably gonna have this game in the back. He's pushing ahead. Now, he goes for the rear of his tank, trying to set him on fire. Pretty ris risky shot there. I probably wouldn't have taken it. I probably would have went for the side of the turret, which would have been. which wasn't a, um, like at a better angle in that case, so it would have been like less risky but you know it worked out for him so why not and he takes another blind shot at the last known location of the Pershing then decides to head on and try to locate him which is pretty risky in a tank destroyer because usually a medium tank should be able to outmaneuver a tank destroyer in close quarters combat however as you'll see this Pershing is surprisingly stupid so he Gets a very, very lucky shot through the front of the Pershing. I think he penetrated the machine gun port. And now he's on very, very low health. But he can finish off the Pershing. So the Pershing didn't really play all that well there. I think he should have tried to carousel the Yak Panther. Or kind of tried to side hug him. To, so to prevent him from turning. So that wasn't all that well played from the Pershing. And he allowed the Yak Panther, which was one le tier lower than him, to finish him off. And that's although... Uh, usually tank destroyers have got a disadvantage towards medium tanks. So there's only an IS and uh, RT, which is an SU-8 I believe, left from the enemy team. Now only the SU-8, so 
MV2000 is going to try to spot the RT and yes he has or maybe the AMX 12T has so he locates behind the bush and finishes him off so that's his fifth kill and that was a pretty nice game for him here especially considering that he isn't all that an uh, experienced player yet his best tank is an IS3 at the moment so thanks a lot to you MV2000 for giving me this game I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's see some after game stats so mv2000 did very very well in that game he got 67,828 credits and unbelievable 6,255 experience however you have to remember that that was during some kind of special so he got a triple for his first win of the day obviously he had a premium account too so that contributed to this lot of experience as well he earned his ace tanker mastery badge in that game and got a sniper medal as well which is nice he killed the m 26 Pershing, the IS-3, that was pretty cool there, penetrating the IS-3 frontally from that distance at that angle was pretty impressive. The way he dealt with that M26 Pershing was pretty nice too, however you must say that the M26 didn't play very cleverly really. He finished off the T-21, took out the Su-28 and also finished off that burning Panzerkampfwagen. Six, he damaged six enemies because he also damaged the Su which he didn't manage to kill and he critted the Su, the Pershing, the IS-3 and the Tiger too. He enabled spotting damage to the IS-3 and the T-21 and spotted the IS-3. He obviously did best on the entire team, getting 1390 experience without modifications, which is a lot. And yeah, he got 5 kills and dealt 3493 damage, which is a lot for a TN7 vehicle. He fired 17 shots, of which 15 hit directly and of which 14 penetrated, which really showcases the amazing penetration and good accuracy of the Yak Panther's gun. I already mentioned that he dealt 3.5k damage, received 7 hits, of which only 4 penetrated, which is pretty good considering that this was a tier 8 game. He received 1435 potential damage, which nearly doubles his hit points, detected one enemy, which was the IS-3, damaged 6, killed 5 and enabled 817 spotting damage, which is a lot for a tank destroyer. Obviously he didn't travel all that far in that game because he was sitting in the bush for most of the time. Yeah, so because the ammo is pretty expensive on this gun, he couldn't keep all that much of a 67,000 credits. However, he got away with a whole pile of experience, which is very, very nice for him. And again, thanks a lot to you, MV2000, that you let me upload this game. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider rating it low or subbing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Maybe check out my live stream. I often live stream on Tuesdays on the Mighty Bigfoots channel. Link is in the description below. And thanks for watching anyway. I hope I'll see you in one of my next videos. And bye-bye.